All right, welcome back to Melanie Loves Death Metal. Happy Monday, guys. I've got an awesome update for you all today. I've been waiting on these three records, uh, three of my favorite releases to come out this year, all on the same label, Total Dissonance Warship. Talked about them several times on this channel in the past. Uh, Simon, who is also in Nightmare, this is his like boutique um, death metal, extreme metal, I guess you could say, label. Um, I've shown off several of the tapes that he's pressed in the last several years. Uh, Vitriol, Defacement, Self-Titled, uh, Morier. I always say their name wrong. The black metal, awesome black metal release that they put out a couple years ago. Um, but today we've got three new releases that have come out this year. Uh, three releases, ironically, that are just some of my favorite releases that have been out. Uh, and I finally pulled the trigger and bought all of them. And I finally got them in this weekend and been listening to them nonstop. So we've got a mix of black and death metal and black metal today. Um, very dissonant which goes with the, you know, the label total distance worship, uh, very dissonant, um, music, very claustrophobic is probably the right word to put for every single one of these releases and chaotic, um, and just heavy as hell. These are albums that I think are worthy of giving a listen, maybe a couple of listens, uh, and really just sit down in and, and soak it in because it's not something that you just put on and listen to in the background. Like there's a lot going on on each of these albums. So I'll start off with the first one that I have hailed to probably be a contender for my album of the year. Uh, this came out back in May. I think it was May 30th. And this is the new Asetis, I think is how you, or Cetus, Asetis. I don't know how to say their name, unfortunately. Eden Through. Uh, this is a band that I've shown off previously with their last album called False Peace that was on Translation Lost Records back in 2021. Was a big fan of that album. Um, can be honest with you, I haven't listened to it in a really long time. This album is is leaps and bounds so much better than their last release. Uh, they progressed so much in regards to their musicianship and just their overall songwriting. So uh, the band is out of Portland and there is something in the water in out in Portland that just makes some... Uh, incredible extreme metal <laughs> or death metal as a whole uh so really cool album artwork here's the back um so total distance worship put out the vinyl i feel like the band self-released the cd i might be completely wrong about that i i can't remember but i waited a little while until this vinyl was available so i didn't pre-order it until i saw that it was finally shipping and people were getting it and, and when I saw on, on Bandcamp there were still copies available, I was blown away because I'm such a huge fan of this album. So it comes with a really nice booklet uh, with some pretty cool artwork and imagery. Um, and of course the lyrics, just simply phenomenal pressing, a very nice quality pressing. Wait till you see the record. My God, it's incredible. Um, I meant to look and see who the artist was. Artwork designed and layout by Noah Cutter Mayhoff. Uh, Mayhoff. Um, so awesome, awesome booklet that you get. And here's the band on the other side. Like I said, it's the third full length album. Uh, and that's, that's it. The record itself is chef's kiss. I've been seeing, I saw pictures of it all over social media. And that was essentially what made me pull the trigger because I could not pass this up. Like, look at that. So, so cool looking. And the band also has their own color version. And this is from Total Distance Worship. Uh, so there's another version out there. But this was the one that I wanted. Like, how do you, how do you say no to that? I know, Roger, if you're watching this, you're thinking, fuck colored vinyl. You're a black metal, black vinyl guy. You probably think that's disgusting looking, but uh, it's very pretty and cool. But that is not what the music sounds like. Uh, so the music is very chaotic at times and heavy and just all over the place in terms of 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 the songs. Like it 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 doesn't stay a one track. It's very dissonant at times, heavy, claustrophobic at times, chaotic, just destroys your ears. Like it's just very got that progressive death metal 
feel to it with also not being proggy, if that makes sense. At times it feels proggy. At times it just feels like crushing death metal, crushing extreme metal, just destroying your ears. Um, a little bit avant-garde, I guess you could say, is a good way of saying it. And there's obviously that dissonance in there. There's a mix of other instruments on the album. Like there's cello, there's a fretless bass. There's just... Yeah, the fretless bass is incredible on this. Just as a whole, it is such a good album. May take a couple of times for you to listen to this uh, to really understand and grasp what you're listening to. Uh, it might be a grower for some people, but for me, it clicked right away. I was also familiar with this band's lat, you know, past output. So, and it's similar to their last album releases, but definitely by far better. This is definitely their best album they've put out so far. Um, the last two songs are on the side B. Tiamat is by far one of the best songs on this album. Um, and I absolutely love the song. Uh, where the hell is it? Did I write the wrong song on my notes here? I don't know. But Break the Neck of Every Beautiful Thing, the first track is really good. I completely lost my train of thought of what I was going to say. Every single song is is simply phenomenal. Um, huge fan of just everything on this album. Like I said, it is um, it's chaotic. It's got some really great guitar soloing. Oh, so, so good. Uh, very good. Just the tone, guitar tone is, is phenomenal. The production obviously is really, really good. It's not like dirty sound or anything like that. It's a very clean production sounding in, in the most chaotic way. Um, yeah, I mean, there's acoustic guitars on here. There's just a really, there's a, an extensive per percussion uh, instrumentation that you can hear. Like, there's just a lot of things. Every time I listen to this album, it's something different that I hear that I didn't recognize the first time I listened to it. Um, just phenomenal album i'm i'm such a huge fan i love the artwork on this too and really the artwork goes very well with what you're listening to because it's upside down so yeah i mean it's very hard to describe in words with what this is uh if i were to do a review on this it would it would be a long review because i'd have to just call out every little intricate detail of this album that you hear because there's just a lot going on within there and like i said every time i listen to it it's something different uh, I hear something different or a different a different chord progression or a different instrument that I didn't quite notice in the beginning or just the style of, of vocal changes that he does and all these other things. Like, it's just, it's so good. I don't know. If you're into death metal or extreme metal, I guess you could say, because it's definitely got a mix of, of other styles of metal on here. Um you'll like this. If you like your stuff weird, if you like your stuff that, you know, takes several listens and just has a little bit, it's not just your straightforward metal music, you'll enjoy this. And I tend to get into that uh, mold for a long time where I listen to music like that. I love, I love weird death metal as a whole. I mean, some of my favorite albums are just proggy and weird. Um, I wouldn't say this is weird. I would say this is very, very abrasive at times and chaotic and can really put your mind in a whirl. It's the journey that you're listening to. So that that's pretty much what most of this music is today. So I definitely think you should check it out. I love this band. I love this album. Um, it's, it's phenomenal. So listen to it. Check it out. Yeah. And I just remember Tiamat was the song that I was going to talk about. I don't know where I was going with my train of thought. That song is phenomenal. Whew, the guitars on that are just so good. So... Yeah, check that out. Um, I'll link it in the description uh, where you can go listen to it on Bandcamp. Um, definitely worthy of your ears. Um, not everybody's going to like it, though. I know I can probably name like 10 of my subscribers that have been subscribed to me for a long time now who probably will say this is too much for them and they can't get into it. Um, but I know most of you will probably enjoy that I recommended this. I, I showed it off on Twitter over the weekend when I got it. And a couple of people messaged me privately and then res responded to my tweets and said, holy shit, that album is awesome. And they, or they ordered it. So that made me happy. So, okay. So the next release that I got through Total Distance Worship is probably, I've seen some people say album of the year already. Um, I think this also came out in May. I completely forgot to look that up. Let me, uh, let me pop that up really quick. 
ba, ba, da. no, this came out July 20, 28th, 26th, 28th. I can't read. 26th. Okay, so it's been out for over a month now. Okay, that is Defacement with Duality. Okay, so I've shown off this band uh, two other times with their self-titled release that came out back in 2021 with the notable album cover here. Amazing album cover. I got the tape from Total Distance Worship. I, I should have pulled it out, but unfortunately it's not on my, my rack back there, my CDs and my tapes on that shelf back there. It's primarily like what has come in new into my collection and then stuff that's been in my collection for a while are behind back here on this wall in another shelving in boxes and shit. And my defacement tape is in a box that I have not unpacked yet in over a year, which is sad because it's a great album. So, um, I have too many tapes. I need to get better storage and stuff like that. So I'm sure some of you tape heads can understand that. So anyway, they're out there. self tell release that came out, uh, back in 2021, just defacement was awesome and it was very underrated. And I think more people should give it a chance, uh, because it is a very good album. And then their first album deviant is also very good. So they have three very good albums. The band is from Greece, I think. Yes. No. Netherlands, sorry, Greece is the next band. Um, Netherlands, and this is black and death metal, but very progressive and dissonant as well. A lot of dissonance, a lot of atmosphere, a lot of claustrophobia and crushingness for this. Um, and that they, they've stepped that up a lot on this album. Their last albums obviously had that as well. This one is way more uh, crushing than their past two outputs. Um, I heard it. And immediately loved it and then took a while to order it until I had the funding to do so. Um, these records are not expensive by any means. They're 25 bucks. I mean, that's the, it's a good price and he doesn't rip you off with shipping either. Unless you're international, then I don't, I don't know how much it costs. So don't comment and be like, oh, it's too expensive for me. Like, I'm sure it is. Everything that I show that's from the U.S. to get shipped out international, like that is the often common complaint. And, and I can say, hey... That's why I don't ever buy from from the UK or anything like that because the shipping is also incredibly expensive to get into the US. It sucks. So anyway, uh, this album is simply that. Like, see that album cover? That is essentially what happens to you when you listen to this. There's a lot going on here as well. Um, and I just showed this off on my Instagram today and wrote a pretty brief review, which is what I... I do for the most part on my Instagram, not all the time. Sometimes I just say like a very, like this album rules because I just don't feel like writing um, my thoughts, but still want to show off the album. And I think what I had to say about this is essentially it, it, it's it's a fantastic follow up for sure. I've said that it's it's dark, dissonant, chaotic, heavy as hell, um, progressive blackened death metal i mean there are so many words to describe this album but it still won't really nail down exactly what you're listening to um you just you gotta listen to it and really gain a sense of of the style of music that you're gonna like fall victim to essentially because it, it's it's a trip man um it's different it's not the straightforward blackened death metal or dissonant death metal um that you would expect since you see that it's a blackened death metal band um, and it's just, it's, it's simply, it's phenomenal. It's definitely a listen that might require a couple of times for people who are not used to this style of music or just tend to like their death metal a little bit more, um, straightforward, a little bit more simplified. This is not simplified whatsoever. There's a lot of atmosphere into this. They have synths on here that are not overdone, <laughs> that are just, transitional within the album and they go well um and just the vocal style you don't even know what the hell this dude is saying like i like sometimes with the gutturals and stuff you can kind of tell nah man you like this is just straight up a demon noise that you hear and every once in a while there's the high shrill screams as well like this is just a nightmarish album it is very nightmarish i mean it is that that is essentially what happens to you. This is definitely an album that is made for a horror movie. Uh, yeah. I mean, I just saw Alien Romulus this weekend. This album would go great with that. Um, so, yeah. Very, very good. Really nice jacket. Nice matte finish. 
This was also a split, split release with Avant Garde and then uh, something Emanations. I fucking blank. I know who that is. I'm just blanking right now. I didn't put him in my notes. Um, oh, just such a good album. It's so good. Huh. A lot of people are saying album of the year. A lot of people that have listened to it um, are saying that I don't. I'm not at that point yet, but definitely gonna be high up on my list for sure. Um, this was a half C splatter, half C black C <laughs> vinyl. Um, I don't remember what it was limited to. Actually, I, I just remembered. I think it's numbered on the back. Did I? Nope. That was probably another release that it was numbered. Another release. I'm thinking of another release that I probably already showed off. I'm all over the place today. Can't remember anything that I'm talking about. Um, just so, so, so good. Um, it's phenomenal. I, I can't say anything more other than that. Like, it's just words can't describe what you're listening to. You just got to put it on and you just got to listen to it and let it take you over and maybe do it a couple of times before you really connect with what you're listening to. But it is, it is very nightmarish at times there's like even raw black metal sounds to it uh the production is not very super clean it's got a little bit of dirtier sound to it, a little bit more raw sound to it so it's just it's it's awesome so the guitar, the guitar tone is so good it's, it's groovy it's got a jazzy feel to it at times it's proggy at times just so good it's a great album man maybe it should be my album of the year i don't know <laughs> i don't know i'm i there's been so much stuff coming out these last few months that I, you know, I've said from the very beginning that Slime Lord was probably my favorite album, but that was so far. I've always said so far to come out this year, uh, along with Sybaris, um, just two incredible albums. And then Ulcerate came out and definitely with the dissonant death metal, you might assume that there's some Ulcerate sounds on here. No, they've got their own sound. Ulcerate is, is, is another phenomenal album that I've been listening to a lot. So yeah, the dissonant death metal stuff is, or dissonant extreme metal, black and death metal, just really high up on my listening habits this year, uh, probably more than ever in recent years. So, and then finally the last uh, album, this one I probably, you guys probably, a lot of people probably don't know about this this uh, artist and you should because he's phenomenal. And I've I've actually shown off the first EV, EP, blah, 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 um on here um let me see i forgot when it came out i think it was 2021 too um but i got the ep of this and i wear their shirt all the time so when you see it you'll probably recognize it um it was 2021 yeah this is kavadra 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 kav kavadra i think that's how you say it um this is the this is out of greece this is their first full-length album um, and their EP that is in another language that I can't say came also came out on Total Distance Warship. Didn't know anything about this at all. And then I listened to it and I loved it. So when I ordered the shirt in vinyl combo, um, I should have pulled it off the shelf because I still have it. Um, but yeah, so what are you getting with this? This is definitely black and death metal, um, dissonant, claustrophobic, very, very good. Um, phenomenal self first release, and this is a one man uh, project. So only one guy he does all the instrumentation and vocals, um, and it's very very good. This is by far definitely close uh, in the vein of that, like I said, dissonant black and death metal. Probably a little bit more of a black metal sound to it, um, but it is very very good. Uh, probably something that requires a couple of listens. Like I said, it's very claustrophobic. It's, it's very heavy and suffocating, um, but a phenomenal release. And if you're in the mood for this style of music, you're going to really, really love this. I mean, if you're listening to Ulcerate, you're probably going to like this album um, straight up. Like, it's just a really good album. Pretty nice packaging as well. Total Distance Worship. Boutique is right. They press really nice stuff. Their tapes are awesome as well. Some cool imagery there. Um... Oh, um, it's got the black flooding, which is, I always like to call that out for a jacket. This again, another phenomenal release. Another one of my favorite releases to come out this year. I've been playing this quite a bit and it comes on this special edition vinyl. I like the blob in the middle. I like when they do that. 
with the crystal clear record. Um, so pretty cool pressing as well. Um, very, very good stuff. Uh, like I said, first full length album and it's just, I don't know, all three of these albums you just got to listen to, uh, because I feel like doing a review and talking about it, I could go track by track and be really precise, but it still won't really give you the experience of what you're listening to. Um, and that's the thing that I often have an issue with when I do reviews is when I say these things, it's just not, doesn't really do much for you until you actually hear it. So, but it is nice to praise these albums and say like, these are phenomenal. Um, and I've just, I've fallen in love with this album. Uh, it's just, like I said, it's got really, really good musicianship. He's a really good songwriter. It's very dissonant and, and suffocating. And that's just been the mood that I've been in lately. So phenomenal phenomenal release so check all of these albums out like i said in the description below i will link the band camp to total distance worship and then as well as these three releases total distance worship is out of seattle or portland portland i think portland um and it's like i said simon from nightmare his label uh incredible label one of the best underground labels out there definitely check them out. There's been several other releases that ha that he's done in recent years that I, I should have gotten on board and bought the stuff and then they sold out. Um, he's been reissuing Ion Dissonance's albums, um, which that mathcore band that I, I didn't know I liked until now. Um, so if you're a fan of that band, check it out. He's been reissuing a couple of their albums. Um, these three releases, he also has the EP of... of this defacements deviant is still available just a lot of really good stuff so oops, i just bumped my mic and yeah I got, I got a new mic i bought a cheap ass uh mic well it wasn't really that cheap i mean it was it was more expensive than my other mic that i had bought a cheap mic on amazon that had incredible reviews i bought an xlr to, to plug it in i'm gonna set up actually set up a real setup for my mic uh this week um the the other stuff is coming today so the sound should be better at least. And then eventually I'll work on getting a better camera for right now. That's gotta, that's gotta be put in the back burner for a while because cameras are expensive. Um, but this stuff had amazing reviews. I watched videos on it and I didn't want to spend like 200, $300 on a, on a microphone just for videos that I make $2 a month on. <laughs> um, maybe if I, you know, get a little bit more successful here. I'll up my, my setup, but for now, this is good. Also, it sounds so much better. So, um, it's just directly plugged into my computer right now. Cause it's USB, um, or it's XLR plugin. It's either, it can either be a condenser or a dynamic. If you're a microphone person, you understand all these things that I'm saying. Um, so it probably doesn't sound super fantastic right now, but once I get it plugged into the XLR that I bought, um, and have to set the levels and I can even change my voice and stuff. So maybe I'll start doing more than write videos. Maybe I'll put a mask on and change my voice and start doing videos like that. I won't do that, but I thought that was funny. Anyway, that's all that I have, you guys. I hope you're having a great Monday. Hopefully, check these albums out. Let me know in the comments if you have, and I'll see you guys in the next one.